Hey everybody, welcome back to Amanda Marie NP. I am Amanda. I'm a family nurse practitioner who currently works in pain and addiction medicine. And my goal on YouTube, on this channel specifically, is to help you reach all your nursing goals. Maybe you are an STNA, an LPN, an RN. Maybe you have your associates, your bachelors, you're working on your masters. You wanna become a family nurse practitioner, whatever it is. Today we're gonna to be talking about LVN, LPN, MedPass tips new nurse tips on how to do those med passes, how to do them efficiently, how to do them accurately, how to do them quickly, because I was where you are. And so you have to understand that in order to be efficient and in order to get the job done completely and accurately, you have to have tips. And the tips that I'm gonna give you in today's video are really going to help you to simplify and to be able to get your LPN, LVN med pass done efficiently and quickly. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you're a new nurse, go ahead, smash the like button. Let me see how many new nurses that I have who have clicked on today's video. I have a free printable for you in the description box below. This is something you're gonna to wanna to make a copy of every day and keep it with your nursing brain in your pocket. And yeah, it's really just going to make your job so much more simple. And simple is what we need. Okay, this is the paper. So when I was at work today, I actually printed this paper out on prescription paper. I did not mean to do that. But you, my friends, can print it out and use colored ink and it'll be so much more cute. And who doesn't like a cute tips and tricks GG. Okay, so I have this piece of paper broken up into nine different squares. And these are my nine different tips for you to make your LPN MedPass become the easiest, but yet the most efficient. All right, so when you go in for your shift, you're obviously going to start out your shift with your report. Once you're done with your report, there's going to be some things that you are going to want to know. If you know these things ahead of time, before you get started with your med pass, you are going to be multiple steps ahead of the game. And that, my friend, is what you want. Time is of the essence. So let's just hypothetically say you're a new LPN, new LVN, you're at your med pass time, you're ready to start, you're at the cart, you've got the keys, you've done your narcotic count, you've got your report, pen in hand, you look down at your medication administration record or your MAR and you're like, holy crud, where do I start? Well, I'm glad you asked. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure you do is to write down who are all of your showers for the day. These things are going to seem so simple for you, but I am telling you that if you know this information before you actually push the first pill, <laughs> the first pill, first initials in the box, if you know this information, you are going to be way ahead of where you would have been had you not taken the time to jot this information down. That's why this free printable in the description box is so important. Write down who all your showers are. Maybe Nancy has a shower, Paul has a shower, and Jeff has a shower. Okay, so now we know who our showers are. So we go into Nancy's room to give her medications and she's not there. Well, we know she's scheduled for a shower, so don't worry. You don't have to look in the activities lounge and in the coffee shop and then then at the breakfast table, you might start with the shower first. Time and being efficient with your time is oh so crucial. Those nursing home med passes, friends, they can take hours to complete, especially, especially those big heavy med pass times, which more than likely, in my experience, were first thing in the morning and first thing in the afternoon and right at bedtime. Those off med passes, midday, mid evening, and, and then in the middle of the night, obviously, are not quite as heavy. So now we know who our showers are. The next tip I have for you is to write down what activities are happening that day. If you work in a long-term care facility and you're an LPN or an LVN and you're in the middle of your med pass and you go to set up all of the things that you need to get started, you're going to want to know if there is an activity happening. Maybe they're playing bingo in the activities room. Maybe the residents are on an outing. If so, who are all my residents that are on out at the outing on this activity? You need to know this ahead of time. Again, it's going to save you time, which is going to help you to be more efficient in your LPN med pass. The next tip I have for you is to quickly jot down. Now, you may not do this the very first med pass that you're starting as a brand new LPN, but you're going to get in the habit of knowing if you work on the same unit. And if you don't, that's fine. Quickly flip through your treatment administration record or your TAR, and you can write down 
who are my treatments? Now, not necessarily creams and lotions and ointment and salves and, you know, very, you know, maybe skin prep for the heels, this kind of thing. Um, but you want to know if you have any big time dressing changes. Why would you want to know that? And how does that help you with your med pass? Well, I'll tell you. It's because if you know that Nancy is a shower today, and Nancy is also one of your major wound cares that you have to get done in a day, you can cluster your care. Clustering your care, especially Actually, in long-term care with those big heavy med passes are going to be so so important for you so we know who our showers are we know what activities are happening and what time so we can plan accordingly we know who our big treatments are and the next tip that I have for you are appointments quickly flip open that appointment booklet or ask the nurse and report does anyone have appointments today is anyone leaving the facility that you know of for any reason because if so there are things that need to be done for instance, if a patient is going out to dialysis, there's normally a sheet that needs filled out prior to them going to dialysis where you're inputting a baseline set of vital signs, you're inputting a weight, um, you know, what medications did you administer before they left for dialysis, and you know what time transport is supposed to be there to pick them up for dialysis or whatever appointment they're going out to. If it's a different kind of appointment, there's patient paperwork that needs to go out to appointments. This is going to help you if you're right in the middle knee deep and your LPN med pass and you're a new nurse and things are scattered everywhere and you're trying to learn how to be efficient and transport comes up to your nursing cart and they're like, where is Joe? We can't find Joe or we can't find Joe's paperwork. This is just going to be a time waster for you. So on this handy dandy sheet that I have created for you with this awesome little superhero nurse that's going to help to remind you that you're definitely a rock star, you're going to be able to write down who your appointments are. The next tip that I have for you specifically is about dialysis. Again, we talked about the dialysis sheet, but you're going to need to know if you have to do pre and post weights. So not only do you need to know if they're going to be out at this appointment, but if it is dialysis specifically, you're going to want to remind your nursing assistants, hey, when Nancy comes back from dialysis today, make sure you grab her weight. And when you get it, can you please come and report it to me? Because then you can jot it down on your report sheet. And when you sit down to do charting later, like the very extremely efficient LPN that you are, you're going to have all of the information you need right at your fingertips. The next tip that I have for you for your LPN med pass, and I am telling you this is huge, is to know if any of your patients are on thickened liquids or altered consistency diets. This is really important. You absolutely as a brand new LPN or even a seasoned nurse do not want to head down the med pass lane, get to the very end of the hallway, the last patient. You have no pudding, no applesauce on your cart. You have no thickened liquids. You have a cup of medications that you need to administer. You've been working at this med pass for two hours. Your feet are killing you. Your back is hurting. You're exhausted. You just have to pass these last pills right here before you can sit down, finish your charting and go home and then you find out that this patient is thick in liquids and you can't give them their medication their medication <laughs> because you don't have anything that you need to do it being prepared is going to cost you maybe a few minutes extra as you are preparing maybe your preparation is going to take you longer but friend what you are going to have is what you need there's nothing worse than giving someone thin liquids when they are an aspiration risk and you're the nurse you're supposed to know this so whether the offgoing nurse reported to you that the new patient nancy is a honey thick and liquid or not it's ultimately your responsibility as the nurse to know that so definitely another lpn medication pass trick that i have for you is if you've had any new admissions since the last shift that you worked personally get in the chart and check their diet and check in to see if they are in on any kind of thick and liquids or altered consistency diets okay next this might or might not sound silly depending upon if you've worked in long-term care or not, but you need to jot down who is on your BM list. <laughs> the dreaded BM list. Yes, I am going to talk about bowel movements in this video. Why? Because having bowel movements is absolutely vital, right? It's very, very crucial that we all defecate 
<laughs> and so with that being said, if you have some type of a protocol in the nursing home that you work on and you're in the middle of your LPN med pass, your LVN med pass, and you're going down the hallway and maybe on the first shift after no BM times three days, we administer prune juice. Maybe that's your protocol. And then second shift after no BM after three days, we've done milk and mag the first time. The second thing we do, or I'm sorry, prune juice. The second thing we do is milk and mag. And then the third consecutive shift, we've done prune juice, we've done milk and mag, and now we're going to do a bisicodal suppository or what have you. You need to know where you are and what stage of that bowel movement protocol to make sure that you either grab that suppository, grab that prune juice, pull out that milk bag, whatever you need to do to make yourself be as efficient as possible with your LPN med pass. The next tip I have for you is you need to know and ask the nurse that is off going if you don't already know who are my diabetics? Who all needs finger sticks down here? Granted, maybe one or two will fall through the cracks if you're working on a new haul that you've never worked on before. But friends, trust me when I tell you, there is nothing worse than going down the hallway and starting at the beginning of the hallway and working yourself down. Say you're working second shift and it's about 3.30, 3.45 and you're the LPN on the hall and you're just feeling real good about life and you've got, say, a fourth to a half of your med pass done and you go into Fred's room and you can't find Fred anywhere and oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I needed to check Fred's blood sugar, but Fred is three fourths of the way done with his dinner. And now I have to reach out and notify the doctor that I didn't check his blood sugar in time. So I'm not really sure what it is. If I check it now, obviously it's not going to be accurate because he's already eaten. This diabetic testing monitoring is very important. So you need to know who your blood sugars are, who your diabetics are, not only so that you can get their blood sugars checked quickly on the very beginning of your shift, but also to just kind of be a little bit more cognizant to potential hyper or hypoglycemic reactions that your patients may have. So that's another tip for you. And the last box that I have on my cheat sheet for you for LPN, LVN medication pass tips and tricks is titled miscellaneous. Duh, what are we gonna do with the miscellaneous box? Anything that pops up in your shift, maybe you noticed that you went to fill the cart at the end of the shift and you were out of cups or you were out of spoons. Maybe you found a hard time finding applesauce for your med pass or pudding for your med pass, whatever your facility uses. Maybe you ran into a situation with a staff member. Whatever it is that you can think of in your shift that could help make your next shift that you work to be a little bit more efficient or any tips or tricks that you come across that you would like to implement in your next shift to see if it saves you time, see if it saves you frustration, or see if it helps you to be a better advocate for your patients. That is what this final box is for. This principle that I have for you, you can make a copy of this. It's very, very simple. Print one off, it's free. Add it to your nursing binder, add it to your study binder. If you are a brand new LPN, I have more resources coming your way. If you're thinking about going to nursing school, Go ahead and check in the description box below. I've got a bunch of other videos that I've made for you. And go ahead and check out this video right here that YouTube seems to think that you need to see and you haven't already. And this playlist right here because I'm excited for you to see it. All right, subscribe to the channel, become an NP with me or a nurse wherever you are in your journey. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.